Okay, so here we are going to broaden our understanding how to get this dynamic space or width and then generate widgets. Like as you can see over here, these dots are actually widgets, okay? So any kind of thing on, on the pixel or as a pixel you see that would be a widget in Flutter. Anyway, so layout builder would give us this space, available space, and list.generate would help us to first to know how many items we want and then it would generate and then actually the size of this widgets generated would be given by sized box or any other widget like container that's also okay so the basic math over here is so we'll have this available space which is the most important one and we'll get it through layout builder and then we'll have a random number you have to divide this available space using this random number to actually generate a certain amount of number over here and that number would be given to list.generate and then it would generate certain number of uh, widgets for us now take another look so that we understand it better okay so here there's another picture that would help us to know for example we have two widgets over here widget one and widget two and we want to get the available space or width between these two widgets so what do we need to do between these two widgets actually we need to insert layout builder so as i said early layout builder would get us width okay and then here of course we see a new widget which is called flex why we need that before we need that and why we need that let me tell you about list.generate widget as i said that early list.generate would help us to generate widget so how it's going to do that it would take this width and earlier picture I told you that we also need a random number so this is the random number and this is the width so based on that the input would be given to list.generate widget and then it would actually generate widgets for us but at the same time it would take this sized box because you actually want certain widget okay not a random widget so either you want container or sized box or anything like that okay so now where's this flex coming over here say for example it generated 10 widgets okay now this 10 widgets actually would be sitting together not spaced like here as you can see there are spaces between these two widgets so to create this kind of space between the widgets that's why we need this okay so that's why we need this flex widget so eventually we'd be able to generate widgets and that widgets would look like this so this one I put it here so that you understand better now why do we put in steps like this because you know flutter all the widgets are nested so layout builder inside it will have flex inside flex will have list to generate and inside list to generate will have sized box and eventual output would be a dynamically generated widget like this based on your layout builder okay so now since we have the basic understanding of how this works so now we're gonna go ahead and actually start implementing on this and this is where we want to focus well so inside this uh, sized box widget this one we don't want to have it well even before that let's go ahead and create actually a new widget in it okay right, so here I'm going to create a new file and here we're gonna call it app layout builder widget dot dart so let's go ahead and add it and then over here we're gonna create a status class and we're gonna call it app layout builder widget okay now let's go ahead and import the necessary things okay cool and then over here we can just simply go ahead and call here app layout builder widget okay so this is what we're gonna import and we're gonna keep as it is now a few things that we have to know that earlier we learned that so earlier we learned that we also need to pass a random number so that's what we are going to do now if we're gonna pass a random number we need to grab it over here okay so here we can say final int random divider 
I think that's your divider. This one is what we want to do. And we also want to pass. OK, I think regarding this, I'm going to talk back later. Now here, this is something that we would say this is required. Required. Uh, this dot random divider. So this is what that we want whenever we call this class. We want that you have to pass this one. So that's why we said this is required. All right. And from this moment on, now we're here. Here we can also say random divider. And we're going to pass 6. You can actually pretty much uh, pass any number. And we'll also talk about that later. OK, now let's come over here and remove all of it. And here we're going to pass layout builder widget. This is what we said early that the first thing we want to pass is layout builder widget. And inside this, here we can pass build context, context, and then box con strains, con strained, like this. And then inside this, uh, we're going to return over here. OK, let's go ahead and return. And the error should be gone. OK, so now inside this, it does want you to return something. So return flex like this. OK. And of course, instead of flex, you need to set up some arguments like directions, this and that. OK, so let's go ahead and set up the directions first. And axis dot horizontal. OK, right. So you want to put things horizontally. So that's why we put that here. OK, so now this is fine. A few things to know that. Now, earlier we learned that we need to pass layout builder. Let me find my file. OK, most probably this one, right? So here we learn that we need to pass layout builder. And that's what exactly we are doing. And after that, we also said flex widget, right? And that's also exactly what we are doing. So layout builder flex. But of course, these are the some arguments that we need to pass. Now, I didn't mention that, but you need to do that. And most importantly, box constraint. And in fact, this is the one that actually gives you a lot of information. And uh, it's so interesting that over here, actually, we can go ahead and print. So let's go ahead and do like this, constraints dot constraint uh, this one. We can use this. So this is right away will give us some interesting information. So let's go ahead and open up a terminal. Uh, well, we don't need to open up terminal. So we can actually we'll also see it over here. OK. Now, uh, let me go ahead and run it. OK. So here you do see that we do see 74. And what is this 74? 74 is the space between these two widgets, OK? So that's what has been printed over here. And that's how, actually, the layout uh, builder widgets work, OK? So they are always between two widgets and the space. So we already know that. We already have this one. And that's what we wanted, OK? So I said earlier that layout builder gives you, like, um, the space between two widgets and that's what it's giving us now, of course here we have flex and uh, of course we need to use the flex we are not there yet okay so there are other properties that we use from flex okay so now over here there's the property called children and inside this we want to put our uh, a list of widgets now over here this means list of widgets okay this kind of thing but here we have a widget or class list or generate actually this widget list or generate we can use this one now the important part is over here length so how many to generate well interestingly enough 
the first thing we could do over here we can take this one okay so let's go ahead and take this and after that we can pass a random divider okay now this random divider may actually return us float or decimal numbers so over here we want to wrap it to floor so which means a uh, integer number okay like for example if you do here wrap it to f uh, floor you'll see that this just 74 let's go ahead and run it and okay here we have uh, error so now let's go ahead and run it you see just 74 because when we use uh, dot floor on a certain number what happens is that it gives you complete integer the closest integer now of course what's gonna happen over here you can also do like this random number and based on that let's see what we get okay you can do hot reload and 12 because we had 74 and it looks like we are dividing by um, what is it we are dividing by a number which is a random number and uh, what is this random number though but this random number is coming from here 6 so we are dividing it by 6 and then we see it here 12 okay but if you do remove it this floor dot floor and we'll see that okay well it's not close to 12.5 so it takes the closest biggest integer which is which is 12 okay and so that's how it works so now we know that over here it's telling you that okay it's going to generate 12 of the um, widgets because remember if you hover over on this the first one is the length that tells you how many widgets to generate so here actually we are generating 12 of them now the main two important factor is this for this constraint width and random number but of course if your random number is bigger then it will generate a fewer widgets remember the smaller it is more widgets uh, the bigger it is uh, fewer widgets okay so here we know that now it's going to return us uh, 12 of them because we are doing floor right and then later on earlier we also sorry we earlier we also said that we need sized box so so far we have layout builder flex and list widgets and now sized box now the equal spacing thing I'm gonna come back soon uh, let me go ahead and do this sized box first because the order is a bit weird though the way we're doing it anyway so now here we are inside the sized box and then here we could do with say for example three oh let's save it okay well nothing is visible here yet but how about we're gonna put a color over here okay so let's go ahead and uh, put color but in fact the problem is inside this sized box you can't really put a color but here we can first put a child and there is a, another widget which is called decorated box we can put that one and then we can do decoration and then here box decoration okay box decoration and inside this here we can put color and we can do colors dot white and it looks like we also need to import the package all right so this one right so now let's go ahead and save it okay so it looks like it's still not visible now the reason is here we do have width but we don't have height so let's give it a height and height say one and then now let's save it and here we go now it's already uh, up there but it's too small okay so that's the first thing now here is this thing the one that I was telling you that this one the flex comes in what does this flex do well this flex actually helps you to spread them equally 
but you need to tell it to do that explicitly though. So here we can do main axis alignment. So once again, main axis alignment dot space between this one. So let's go ahead and do that. And uh, let's go ahead and run it. And as you can see here, it already spread them separately. Okay. And now they're extending from the left to the right. And this is beautiful. And that's exactly what we wanted. And this is working. And then over here, uh, let's see. What's happening? You can also put a const modifier. Okay. So it's going to work. So, so far, this was the most complex part, and we just did that. So, as we said early, that we need all these things. So, what are the things that we need? We need a layout builder, layout builder. We needed a flex, we needed a flex. Let's generate, let's generate, and then sized box. And then we had eventually a sized box. But regarding sized box, in fact, you can also replace this with a container then you'd be also able to actually decorate it so it doesn't really matter and here this part plays an important role now before i wrap up this one here we need to make some changes let's go ahead and put const modifier so that our code looks beautiful now here this is not at the top so there is this problem now to be able to do that over here here we can put say height because size box takes height right and then here let's put 24 let's save it now it came down now as it came down over here we also have this this one now we are going to actually comment it out so now it it looks beautiful so with this we are pretty much done with this section the one that we are doing with uh, layout builder